Good morning, people of the world. Welcome to Dean of the Dead TV. We're here today in London. It's a Sunday morning, and we're going to be heading over to Madame Two Swords. You can see it behind me over there. Um, it's not stupidly busy, so we've come really early, so we want to be some of the first people through the door. And we've come to check out the new Chamber of Horrors, new for 2023. Been hearing some really good reviews, came years ago when I was a kid, and it scared the life out of me. Now I'm an adult, and it's probably still going to scare the life out of me. So let's go and check it out. Madam Two Swords, Chamber of Horrors 2023. Let's go. Escape this way. We're going to take a walk through this first. Oh wow. We've got Michael Fassbender over here. This is Michael Fassbender. Laura's in the capsule. Oh my god, look at that alien. Ah! <laughs> Michael Fassbender's making some notes. Ah, we got some eggs right here from the mother alien. Oh man, we've got an open one right here. Face hugger must have jumped out of this one. Oh, he's finished. There it is. fun this is like a little alleyway you can take if you don't want to walk through there um but it's getting pretty busy now and we're going to go find the chamber of horrors i've not done the chamber of horrors for well since i was a kid so this is going to be really cool can't wait to see what this is all about here we go oh actually we've got to walk past kong first so let's we get a little bit of footage of kong Kind of wild species in the jungle. 
<laughs> oh, Bruce Willis. We found Laura's last nightmare right here. A giant spider. What would you do if that just dropped now? Even though it's not real. I would scream. Would you still scream? Even though it's not real. Yeah. Would that still frighten the life out of you if that yeah. drops on you? It, lo it looks pretty real. Yeah, it looks a bit fluffy at the back. I feel like you could give it a cuddle. That is the closest you'll ever see Laura <laughs> getting to your spider. Tom Hiddleston over here. I mean, not the real Tom Hiddleston, but... And there he is, the mighty Kong. That is huge. Look at the size of that. Yeah, his eyes, his mouth moves. So cool. He is enormous. Sign for the Bates Motel right here. Loving this. No vacancy. And then if we look down here, behind the curtain, not these guys, <laughs> behind the curtain, we've got the scene from Psycho. And then opposite that, which we're going to go and take a look at right now. Got a waxwork of Mr. Alfred Hitchcock himself. He's going to say hello. Hey. Hey, Mr. Hitchcock, nice to meet you. Woo. His hand and he came off. Yeah, he's tiny. Hey, Mr. Hitchcock. It looks a bit like your dad. You put glasses on him. You put glasses on him. He look like your dad. You would. Here we are, the Chamber of Horrors, this way. Chamber of Horrors is based on some of the most infamous real crimes in the past 150 years. Recommended ages 16 plus to enter this area. You may get wet during your experience. I do need a wet. Really? <laughs> <laughs> For your safety, we do not recommend you enter if you have any of the following. High blood pressure, heart condition, affected by loud noises, <clears throat> flashing lights, nervous disposition, sensory sensitives, pregnant, have a face makeup. No, I'm good. Alright. Chamber, chamber, chamber of Horrors, this way. Do you reckon there's a toilet in the Chamber of Horrors? belonged to these criminals whilst they were in jail. So we've got Dennis Nilsson's shirt, trousers and TV whilst he was in prison. This old retro TV over here. That shirt actually worn by Nilsson and trousers. And boots. Oh, this wasn't in prison. This was in his house. Wow. So that TV, if that TV could talk. Over the back there, we've got belonged to Mary Piercy. She used the plan to transport the dead bodies of her lover's wife and child across London after she murdered them. Oh man, that's dark. That is so dark. And this suit, read what this suit, what does that say right there? 
This belongs to John Haig, I believe. Soon. Shortly before his execution, John George Hayes donated the suit to the team at Madame so Tussauds. So he, he actually donated this to Madame Tussauds. John Haig donated this suit to be displayed in the Chamber of Horrors in Madame Tussauds. I would say that's very kind of him. I'm not no. sure he was a kind fella. <laughs> but, uh, we don't think he was a kind fella. And none of these guys were. But this one here fascinates me. Anything that's doing Nielsen fascinates me. The fact that he actually wore this stuff here and watched telly on this. You know, man, he had he was some twisted motherfucker, man. Wow. Got a replica here of an original guillotine blade. The Madame Two Swords Archive, 1884. Man, this thing looks rusty as hell. in the walls here. Some bringing around. This one's wriggling around. <laughs> this one's not quite dead yet. This one's not dead yet. So I believe we are in number 10 Riddington Place, which belongs to, of course, Mr. John Christie. Bodies in the walls. Bodies in the walls. Bodies in the walls. Some are not quite dead yet, but they are. Oh! What's the, what's the dog discovering? What is in the floorboards? What is in the floorboards? John Christie himself. Casually reading the newspaper, checking out all the people that have come to visit him today. Madam Tussauds. The suspect is now Well, it seems up 
Oh uh, yeah, you can't really make it out of camera, but oh yeah, <laughs> that's great. It was steams up, really cool. Yeah, that's so cool. Get out. Be careful if you want to watch. exact date to be fair but I know it's many many years ago I came as a child and I was terrified um, I never went through it but it seems it's a lot more immersive here at Madame Tussauds these days so even that area is more immersive they've got some live access down there um, you get scrubbed with water at one point they've got some smell pods so it's almost like a mini scare maze but it's really cool really worth checking out um, we've got the Hulk in the background here he, he agrees he's about to bite my finger off um, Tell us a little bit more about what you thought of the Chamber of Horrors, Laura. I thought it was great. I thought it was dark. I thought it was creepy, atmospheric, immersive. What did you learn? That I'm jumpy. 
<laughs> yeah, no, it's definitely worth coming to check out. Madame Two Swords itself is worth coming to check out. Um, yeah, yeah, that's the only advice. Yeah, don't come at a weekend because it's too busy. There's a lot of stop start, but that's just we're, you know tourist attraction in London. Just you know, you've got to expect that. Um, we've actually been here before um, during a weekday, early in the morning, and you can just walk around freely. There's not many people, here, so that is always the best time to come to to, to go to anything. To be fair. Um, I would say yeah. even if you're an adult and you think, eh, oh, Madden Two Souls, that's so cute, it's fun. Yeah. It's proper immersive nowadays. They, they make the whole scene. They don't just, it's not just the statues, they make the whole scene, the whole room. Yeah. It's fun. And I generally got scared. Yep. Awesome. And now I'm Beyonce in the wind. <laughs> <laughs> You're Beyonce in the wind. And the Hulk's about to eat your head. You want to look at it? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah guys, come check it out. Mother Two Swords, Chamber of Horrors, 2023. New for 2023. Even though it used to be here a long, long time ago. Yeah, it's back again. Um, it's super cool. We loved it. Really cool. The outro scene, the Jack the Ripper scene, is great. We see Laura coming up the stairs. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you took the healthy option. I took the, the not so healthy option of the lift. Here we are. Just a couple of Jedis in London. A Madame Two Swords. In search of our lightsabers and our friends. This way. So we've got here to the Star Wars section uh, of the Madame Two Swords exhibition. And it's like no one knew this bit was here. It's empty, <laughs> which is great. Because that means I can introduce you to, to my friends over here. Liam Neeson, Obi-Wan, Darth Maul, and Ewan McGregor. Oh, this room's cool, and it's really warm. It's Hayden Christensen over the back there. Hello, mate. Yeah, yeah. Man. Uh, I mentioned that when I walked in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, we found some people, but um, I think before we go any further, I'm just going to take a little seat with me, mate. Harrison over here. Grab a drink. Grab a drink at the bar. It's been a long day, mate. It's been a long day at home. What do you reckon? Yeah.